imagine the world impacting the lives of 7,874,000,000 people. To be given this power is no insignificant thing. And as teenagers, I am sure we see a lot of issues that demand immediate change, such as wars, famine, poverty, and so on. But before choosing which topic is most worthy of our attention, I tried to look towards some of the teenagers like us who have had a chance to voice their concerns and partake in reshaping the world into a better place. The first of which is Greta Thunberg. We all know her. She's probably one of the most influential environmental activists out there. She stood in front of some of the most powerful political figures and institutions, but mostly she encouraged people to take action, conveying the idea that there is still hope for us to save our planet. Malala Yousafzai, a young Pakistani activist, she was threatened and shot in the head by the Taliban, yet survived and continued to fend for her cause, demanding equal education for everyone. Rishab Jani, a 13-year-old AI enthusiast who was led by his curiosity and will to help others and developed an AI-based tool to help cure pancreatic cancer. Now, the list does not stop here. And while I was reading about all of these influential youth, I came to a realization that they all had one thing in common. They all possessed some type of knowledge that led them to where they are, and once their voices were heard, they demanded and encouraged that teenagers like them have the same opportunity to gain that knowledge, speak their ideas, and take action. If Greta Thunberg hadn't felt such a great responsibility towards her planet, if Malala hadn't known that illiteracy is the barrier between today's wars and tomorrow's peace, if Rishab hadn't taken it upon himself to use his knowledge for the greater good, none of these teenagers would have become what they are today. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I asked myself again, what change would I like to see in my world? My answer would surely be how we approach education. In today's world, we are first taught at schools the basics, such as reading, writing, arithmetic, and so on. Then we move on to university, where, then, where we are then taught, taught the, uh, the skills, the technical skills we need for us to pursue our chosen career. Of course, all of this knowledge is essential and crucial and should be a given right to every child around the world. However, during all these years, we work so hard for our future selves thinking that we can only take action until we are old enough or mature enough. Whereas during those years, we are never told that our voices as children and as teenagers equally matter and that we can equally make a change. Ladies and gentlemen, our school years are one of the most crucial periods of our life. Yet if we are not taught about our rights, our freedoms, our morals, our responsibilities, humanity will never change. We will never change. We will always be as greedy as we are and we will never be able to, sac to sacrifice for the future generation. For this sake, ladies and gentlemen, my answer to today's question is, let us not just educate our children more, but better so that they themselves can become the change we want to see in our world. Thank you for listening.